Ripple's Gelateria is on deck eight at Iona, between the Keelan Cow and the Keys. It serves a luxury gelato, that's ice cream to you and me, and has seating outside on the promenade as well as inside. We like that it wasn't on the pool deck, uh, like most ice cream places on ships. Choose your favourite ice cream flavours and buy them by the scoop or indulge in one of the sundaes, such as Knickerbocker Glory, Banoffee, which is vegan, Crocan if you love caramel and nuts, or the kids' favourite, the Oreo sundae. Elliot, who just turned six before we went on this cruise, loved the gelato sticks. Uh, sort of cross between a Magnum or a Solero. And you can buy these individually or you can go DIY, which means you can put loads of toppings on. So you choose your base flavour, uh, then you can add up to three toppings and a sauce. Uh, we found these were really good value. They're huge, um, but we always had to ask for a doggy bag. We really enjoyed the afternoon tea here and we shared it between two or three adults and a child um, and yeah there were some grouchy moments as we fought over some of our favourites but it is good value. It's a shame that the afternoon tea only comes with one drink, uh, with two drinks we think it would be a much better option for sharing. Uh, whether you'd get through all of this as one person, who knows, let us know. The cannoli are lovely as are the cones and the sandwiches. The macarons were probably my least favourite, uh, but you can buy all of the items separately if you prefer not to have the afternoon tea. We really enjoyed Ripples and we would recommend a visit here. We especially liked it as a treat on a sea day. <laughs>